person never knows what they're into till they feel what they're up against. I've got an invisible battlefield going these days, and though I can hear the screaming and the splattering, the pleading, and the laugh of the conqueror, I mean, I'm invisible. And I find no place to turn. Innocent pets shriek wherever I put my feet. And I wander from corner to corner, from room to room, from bed to mirror, from challenge to cowering denial, all in the single spinning gray minute that lasts forever. Hating what I am for seeing what I could have been. Loving those who are free of this nausea and disgrace. I can see but I can't do. I can hear, but I can't see. I know my name, but I never want to say it or hear it said. I manage to contaminate a hundred people a day, all of them thinking that I know something. And they're right, I do. But the joke is I learned it 20 years ago, and I haven't sweated in a moment's labor since. Just laying here with my hands crossed over my chest, my eyes closed. My sleep deep and driving me like a nail deeper into another exhaustion. I see you. All of you. Hopeful. Courageous. Still a little naive. Innocent and efforts that are gonna fail you. And exalt you. And take your lives down a dark stream where there's no comfort and less air until your lungs collapse and your eyes bulge and you look down and see me watching from a distance that looks safe that's really only a small place in a hell that avoided you. But until then, you're all peeking. Yeah, on top of it. Risky, threatened with ruin and unconcerned. Like a boat or something, like you stand in the prow, lashed to the anchor housing and having your conversation interrupted but not perturbed, with those intermittent seas freezing over you in cold foam. And I hear you. I mean, the words are just audible. They're words I once said, loud and in whispers, and always meaning the same freedom that you keep so close to your heart. Fuck it. That's all you say. And I can see the strain of the effort convulsing your blue lips. Your absolutely nonchalant hero is the very best kind. Your efforts aren't wasted. I mean, there's many, many sides of approval. But there are round out seeds exploding around you. I'm sure there's something that passes for life, and there is life, and you are living, and I think you get energy from sense of who you are and describing and copying for themselves what you're not. And when others get you wrong, it doesn't seem to bother you for a second. I mean, you seem to have the capacity to say, it's their problem. It's not let it face you in the least. For me, I do the whole thing back. That need to elevate, that tendency to build up because well, we know it follows. So I find the nearest dog shit to step in, gum to sit on, or horrible belch to burp like, like a compulsion. I can't stand for anyone to be more awkward, self hateful, stupid, or inappropriate than I am. But it's only a defense because with most of them, I don't care. Not a bit. In fact, I'm ashamed to admit that the act of fucking with them, confusing them, and making them feel superior to me is my most malicious act. Knock me down, they get zero. Back to nowhere. And there's my method of even with the deserved mistrust and repulsion that I feel for about 99% of the psychological and spiritual lives of most of my brothers and sisters. Dog shit, gum, and bad air. problem is, it is a big fucking problem. The problem is dealing with the 1% I find in love. I mean, it's nearly suicidal when it comes to those you love. 99% of the time, you're in the practice of dodging and distorting yourself. And you miss the switch.
catch when you're the, with the ones you love, and, and then the train just rolls right past, and you begin to lack the skill to make sense to those you care about. You get uncool. You get self-destructive in a viciously painful way. Too much and too little at the same time. I mean, you tell a friend not to hold his breath. So, like I said, a person doesn't know what they're into until they know what they're up against. Figured all this out right here. Took me a couple days. I always feel so shitty trying to communicate to anyone I love long distance, short distance. And I've learned to stand aside and stay quiet most of the time, so I guess you know what I'm saying. See an error in my life, even if it is justified. I mean, when you examine the people around us. So with you, and with those I have, and those I will love, hell. You're the last people I would ever want to see me like this. Thank you.